Hello my TBDs, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a wear test Wednesday on the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I am so excited for this. I remember not really enjoying the Born This Way just because it felt really heavy and it felt like I got really cakey and oily throughout the day. So I never really like totally vibed with that one. But when I saw this, I was like, matte. I can get on board with that. So if you're new to my channel, I do a wear test Wednesday at least every other week on my channel. Sometimes I'll do like bonus uploads or something, but at least twice a month where I sit down and review a new product or a product that claims to be long wearing. I test it out for 10 hours and share my thoughts with you. So before we hop in, be sure to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And if you're enjoying the video while you're watching, you can give me a thumbs up. This product retails for $40. There are lots of shades, holy cow. There are 35 shades in this foundation. I have the shade Swan, which is described as fairest with neutral undertones. That's, I think, what's gonna be. When I started getting into the lights, they looked a little deep especially on the swatches right here. It just looked like anything under like fairest was gonna be too dark, but we'll see when I bring this out. We'll see if it matches. It says that this is a oil-free, oil-controlling, waterproof, transfer-resistant, 24-hour, undetectable, super long wear foundation. The ingredient callouts are coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. It says it is a 24-hour matte foundation that masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Our matte formula stays completely color true while covering imperfections to reveal the all day shine free look of naturally flawless skin. Lightweight wear and coverage so undetectable they think you're born this way. That is what I'm about you guys. I am pumped. Right now it has really good reviews on Sephora. I mean it only has seven but it's got four and a half stars and some of these are saying it's the best foundation they've used. So just some background on my skin. I do have oil with acne prone skin. It's almost time of the month, you know. First, I'm gonna go in with my normal primer that I use with every single wear test Wednesday just so I get consistent results. This is the Revlon Pore Reducing Primer. This bottle does have a pump. It's a very nice, heavy, like weighted, frosted glass. It looks very similar to the Born This Way. It's just a little thinner. So let's see if this is the shade. In the bottle, it looks like it could be the shade, but we we don't know that for sure. Ooh, this could be the shade. Let's see if it's runny. So it's a little runny. I like the idea that it should be lightweight, but mattifying, I'm all about that. Whoa, that's nice. It doesn't have a super strong scent. You do get one ounce of product in this foundation. Um, What is happening to my skin? It's looking beautiful. I typically like my foundations with a beauty blender. That's just what I use like every day. So I like to start out using a beauty blender and then if I don't like it with a beauty blender, then I will go in with a brush. I don't remember if it said the coverage or not. Naturally flawless, medium to full buildable coverage, non-acnegenic, waterproof, oil-free, transfer resistant. It is a life-proof foundation. This is looking beautiful by the way, and this is totally my right shade. I'm assuming that when it says true to color, that means it's not going to oxidize. This is setting down matte, like right away, but not heavy looking matte, like natural skin looking matte. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. This looks beautiful on the skin. This looks so natural. It's weird, because usually matte foundations don't look natural. See if it's buildable. I'm just gonna try to build it up on my acne situation right here. It does look like it is buildable. This looks really, really nice. All right, here's my skin with the foundation just newly applied. It is 8.36 right now. It looks so good. Like it looks like my skin, but better. I would say right now it's like a good high medium coverage. It doesn't look like it's sinking into any fine lines either. And it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of the skin at all. Like it looks like it's just very nicely blending into the skin to make this natural matte finish. I'm gonna see how concealer applies on top of this. Sometimes concealers can like take away coverage from the foundation. Hopefully it doesn't with this one. Why is this looking nicer and nicer the more I look at it? My face looks so nice. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Again, I use this in all my Wear Test Wednesdays as well. It's like my holy girl powder. So if it doesn't work with this, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna test on all my face with powder. It does feel almost to a powder finish right now. It is just like a little tacky, 
but not very much. Okay, this looks just the prettiest. Now here's it set down. Oh, this looks so nice, you guys. So far my thoughts are positive. Let's see how the rest of my products apply on top. Cool, okay, so I just finished out the rest of my makeup. It is 8.54 right now, so we're gonna call this check-in time. Let's just go with nine, you know? But here is the rest of my makeup. I don't think I've been this happy with a foundation on my skin in a hot minute. Like this looks so beautiful on the skin. It totally looks like my normal skin. It's got just like this much of a glow to it, but it is totally matte. I'm like blown away with how nice my skin looks right now and everything applied really, really nicely on top of it. I have no complaints about this. The coverage is there. The finish is so pretty. I don't know what they put in here to make it look so beautiful on the skin, but my skin is popping right now, you guys. There's no place that it looks heavy or cakey. It is not sinking into my forehead lines and it just smooths. It looks so smooth, so airbrushed. I'm I'm just shocked. I'm shook, you guys. I'm I'm very shooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and go throughout my day and I will check back in at the very end of the evening and share my thoughts with you with how it held up. It claims to be 24 hours. Let's see if it actually is. Hopefully it's like at least 10 hours. That's typically what I wear a foundation for. Also, if you guys have tried this foundation, let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through my day and I'll check back in at the very end of the evening. All right, guys, it is 5.22, almost 5.30, and I wanted to just hop on and show you guys how my skin was looking because we're actually about to go over to my mom's for some dinner, so I'm not gonna be back until after the 10 hour mark. This has been on for eight and a half, nine hours now, and here's how the skin is looking. It definitely has gotten a little little oily on my chin, around my nose, but not bad. I have had to powder slash blot once today, but here's how it's looking at the eight and a half, nine hour mark. I think it actually has held up really well most of my makeup that I put on this morning is still there. Usually at the end of the day, my chin is totally like wiped off. It's just gone, it's pieced out. It hasn't really come off my nose. It hasn't really come off really anywhere. I was even like cuddling with Chris and I put my face on my white shirt. See, I'll do this and it's like not transferring. Don't make a liar out of me. No, it's not transferring. I do think that this is a very transfer resistant type of foundation. I wouldn't say that it is the most matte foundation. Just like at the end of the day, you're still gonna get a little oil to come through. It has looked really, really nice. I've really enjoyed it. Chris said it looked a little bit more full coverage than I normally wear, which is accurate because normally I'm wearing like a light to medium coverage foundation, but I think it still looks super, super pretty, very flattering, even eight and a half, nine hours into wearing it. Um, I still think it looks really nice. So I'm excited to see how it wears. I definitely would say that 10 hours is like probably the max that I would wear this foundation. Looking at where my oil is right now, I think it's just probably gonna continue to get oilier throughout the evening. The foundation really looks quite nice. It has not sunk into my forehead lines. Usually foundations sink into them like really fast and are definitely there at the end of the day. You can barely see them right now. But I'm gonna go ahead, eat some dinner, but I just wanted to show you guys how the skin was looking before we reached the 10 hour mark. But I will come back at the very end of the evening after we come back from dinner and show you guys how it held up. All right, you guys, I'm back. It is the very end of the evening. It's 9.15 right now, so I've had this on for over 12 hours. I think it looks pretty good. All of my makeup stayed on my cheeks, like my bronzer, blush, highlight, all are still there, which is awesome, which shows me that this is long lasting and helps keep your makeup products on top stay better. I only see a little bit of it coming off on my chin. And normally by now it would be totally rubbed off on like my, the sides of my nose and it's just barely. Now I did touch up, I used a blotting sheet and I used a little bit of powder at like 5.30 just to help with the oiliness. I will say that I think that it is pretty matte. It did stay pretty matte throughout the day, but towards the end of the evening, I did notice some oil come through. So it's not something that is going to be 100% matte the entire day, all the way until the evening if you wear this for a very long time. But I do think that it is a good contender if you're okay with letting like a little bit of oil come through. And just for the 
wear time. I think that this wore really, really well. It did not really fade anywhere, which I really love. I also just really love the finish of this on the skin. I think that it fits a little bit better us oily skinned people out there instead of just the born this way. I feel like the matte version is definitely a more matte version of the foundation. So if you're thinking about getting this, I definitely say go for it if you're unsure you can always get a sample, but I really like it. I'm gonna continue to use it. I think I'm going to try it out with a more mattifying primer specifically around my nose and on my chin. But overall, my thoughts are really good. Other than the little bit of oil that came through, I really liked how it wore throughout the day. I felt like my skin looked very nice and very soft. So again, if you have tried this product, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd be curious to know how you guys are liking this. I give it a big thumbs up. I'd say this is a like an eight, nine out of 10 kind of foundation for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.